All right, so I got a login account or whatever for this game called My Candy Love New Gen. It's an Otome visual novel, I believe. So I'm going to play it and let's see how it goes. Talkie. Personalize your avatar. Choose her name and appearance. These choices are important because they are used in your story and illustrations. You can choose her skin color. Oh my god. Her eye color. And her hair color. Oh my god. Holy shit. That's amazing. Once you're satisfied, use the save button to move on to what's next. All right. Cool. Was that? Oh, that's the vit vitiligo or whatever for I know, freckles. I'm pretty pale, so yeah, there we go. Vampire pale. That's exactly what I look like. I got blue eyes. Eh, now too bright. Yeah, I have dark blue eyes. Sometimes they're green, but most of the time they're blue. Um, black hair. Can I choose her hair style? Do I get to do that later? Because, I mean, like, my hair kind of looks like that when I get out of the shower, but whatever. And your character, um, yeah. Kiki Kicks is two words. Save. Your name and appearance have been saved. You can modify them at any moment via your profile. The changes will be visible in your future dialogues and illustrations that you unlock. Oh. Oh, cool. Oh, man. Wow, look at all these outfits that I'd never wear. But you know what? This actually looks like something I would wear, and she has glasses. So, yeah, that's 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 perfect. I'm actually wearing shorts and a jacket right now. Holy shit, it's like it knows me. Choose. Your outfit choice has been saved. You can change clothes at any moment via your closet on your profile. Beautiful, but your appearance isn't the only only thing that counts it's time to define your personality oh god your dominant personality influences the overall appearance of the site and makes the cost of certain answer choices in the story more beneficial to you important your personality will continue to evolve according to your choices in the game you can also redefine it via your profile so are you more rebel sweet or energetic show me uh uh um, uh, <laughs> wait, rebel. So, oh, 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 oh. Okay, I get it. I get it. Um, Jesus, I'm gonna go with uh, rebel and energetic. I, I mean, I don't. Know, people tell me I'm sweet, but wow, it's like you should stay in the middle or something. I'm gonna say I'm more rebel. I don't know. We'll just go with that. Wait, Florida? I would never live in Florida. Okay, I'm sorry. That's not that that's that's not realistic. You have finished creating your character. You can now start playing. Yay! All right. Let the adventure begin. My Candy Love New Gen is a fiction for entertainment purposes. The story aims to be believable without trying to be absolutely realistic. The words or the actions of the characters do not in any way seek to stage ideal behavior or to instruct the player on what are healthy relationships between co-workers, friends, or within a romantic relationship. It is therefore recommended to approach this adventure with discernment between fiction and reality. I understand. Ready for a new adventure? Let me guide you through your first steps. After that, you'll know everything there is to know about the episodes. To advance the episodes, you'll need AP, gems, or hearts. Your in-game currency is available here. This is really loud. I'm going to turn the volume down. Uh, each basic dialogue costs two. I think that's AP. Go for it. I woke up with a start. I looked all around. It took me a few seconds to come to my senses. I'm going to turn the volume down on here, actually, because that's really, really loud. Wait, can I? Okay, thank God. Oh my God, I was like... Okay, let me turn my headset volume back up. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's that's good. That was way too loud before. Okay. Alright. Uh, I looked all around. It took me a few seconds to come to my senses. How do I continue? Uh, 
What? Like that? Wait, no, no, I don't want to skip. Oh, I have to click on it. <laughs> I must just be stressed about starting my new job. It's my new job. My memories of my previous one aren't good, but that's in the past. Is she talking about working at a retail pharmacy? Because that's, uh, you know, where I came from. It's okay. Everything's fine. I'm in my room. Well, my new room. I still haven't gotten used to it. I'll say where the video game's at, man. I glanced at my alarm clock three minutes before the time I'd set. I stretched, trying to chase from my mind the remaining echoes of the nightmare that woke me up. If someone had told me six months ago that I'd move back in with my mom, oh my god, this is realistic. Unless her mom's normal, then that's not realistic. My alarm finally- oh no, no, what the hell, no! Damn it, I <laughs> for too much. Okay, so this is about her alarm started and her sister, and now I'm going downstairs to eat breakfast, but why did it go? <laughs> no. You've received your first objective. If needed, this is where you can find the list of your objectives completed or not. To continue your story, explore and move around the different places. Okay. Living room. She looks so happy. I let the delicious smell of toasted bread guide me. Ah, Kiki Cakes. Good morning, sweetie. Did you sleep well? Yes, I'm in great shape for my first day. Hey, Tasha! My sister answered me with a nod. Come on, Mom. Say yes, please. To what? I've already said no three times. You can stop insisting. Am I interrupting something? Mom doesn't want to let me stay here when she's not here. Tasha, you look like you're old enough to be left alone here. What's going on? He wants me to go stay with Dad. Oh, is she trying to kick her out? What? Mom, are you trying to get rid of my sister? That's rude. How dare you? It's not up to your sister to take care of you when I'm not here. Okay, I, wait, I'm really confused. So Tasha can't be left home alone, but she looks like she's at least like 15 or 16. Uh, and your father will be delighted to have you. He hasn't seen you in several weeks. Tasha made a face visibly upset. I'd be upset too. I'd be like, why are you trying to kick me out? It's just that he's too far away. I had things planned with Jessica and Sasha. Is this summer break? I know, dear. It's not easy. My sister groaned in frustration. Do you want something to drink, Kiki Cakes? <laughs> Imagining the mom just calling me Kiki Cakes. <laughs> it's time to make your first choice. There are different types of choices that allow you to advance in and shape your story. The cost of the cost in AP of a choice depends on its importance. Neutral choices are the most basic and cheapest. They only influence your story a little bit. You can recognize them thanks to their little green icon. Choose the answer that suits you the best. I'd like a cup of tea if there's any orange juice would be good like you coffee would be perfect jesus christ calm down uh orange juice i don't really like tea or coffee i took a bottle on the table to serve myself a glass well then why did i have to tell her what i wanted kiki cakes i'll already be in london when you get home so starting now i'm leaving the house in your hands thanks i promise to take care of it and I'll be gone when you get back. And you're saving my life, really. I won't impose myself for long. And I'll enjoy it too. My next place of my own probably won't have a swimming pool. Um We're gonna be we're gonna be grateful that we're gonna stay here for free, because rent's expensive. Shh, don't talk nonsense. Stay as long as you'd like, as long as we're not Tasha. If I included a room for you in the plans, it was intentional. I smiled at her tenderly, a bit touched. Just a little bit. Damn, so she's saying all this shit in front of Tasha. Tasha's just like, bro. To change the subject, I point to my well-filled plate she was holding out to me. 
Dude, I feel like I feel like I'm the golden child. I wonder if Tasha hates me. She looks so mad. That looks delicious, really. You didn't have to. I did. It's a big day for you, and you need to start it off strong. Just look at Tasha. She's so sick of this. She's like, I'm gonna murder all of you while you're sleeping. Actually, what are your expectations for this fresh start, Kiki Cakes? This is a medium choice, so you can recognize them thanks to their little yellow icon. Generally, medium choices have an impact on your relationships with the characters, causing your affinity with them to go up or down. There's good news. The majority of medium choices are associated to a personality. The more a choice is closer to your personality, the less it will cost an AP. Oh, oh no. So I had it like in the middle. Continue your story by making the choices that work for you. Why are those so expensive? How many do I have? Uh, I want to get my revenge. At what? What? Revenge for what? I want to succeed in my new job. Frankly, I just hope that it'll go better than it. I want to succeed. I want to. I want to make my own money and have my own house. Ah, oh, that's a beautiful energy to have. I like it a lot. I think that was Tasha that said it. Interesting. If you manage to keep that frame of mind, things should go really smoothly. I'm surprised that Tasha's the one who's uh, responding to me. But okay. Look at me! I knew how to jump back after the divorce. <laughs> I acquired a certain notoriety, my own home, my own firm, and... In two hours, I'm leaving for London to build a museum. Yeah, you go, Mom. So I'm sure everything will go well for you, too. Believe in you. Thanks. And like they say, the rain... Oh, whoops. And like they say, after the rain comes the sun, it can only go up from here. Well, in any case, you can't mess up too much this time, can you? Oh, excuse you. Since mom pulled some strings for you. Oh, wow. Those are fighting words, Tasha. You didn't pull any strings saying that. I ran into that Devin at a cocktail event, and he gave me his card and told me he was looking for someone. It was logical to give it to Kiki Cakes. She was already looking for a new job and was sending her CV to lots of companies. But that's all. It stops there. However, I only had a phone interview, and he hired me directly after a 10-minute conversation. I mean, maybe we just, like, exuded that confidence that he was looking for. Well, let's say that his hiring methods are rather curious. When I met him, he seemed very pleasant and a bit extravagant. Oh, on the phone, I found him rather intimidating. And what if it doesn't work out? Then you get another job. Nonsense, it'll work out. What is this job? I, I want to know what this job is. I'm so scared right now. Just try to not sleep with your boss. Is that why I got fired from my last job? Oh my God. What are you doing? The hell? Can't do that. Especially if he's already married to another woman. Jesus Christ, Tasha. Is that, is that is that what she did? Look at that face. That kind of looks like a guilty face. Look at mom. She's like, uh, yeah, I was going to bring that up, but, uh, you know. Hey, now, she didn't have known that, that. And so she did. She did. Oh, my God. He stopped herself, taking the time to think of a word she could use in front of her daughters. <laughs> That two-bit Don Juan was already engaged. He hid everything from her. Mom slowly shook her head. I was grateful that she didn't bring up any other details. Oh my god. Like the fact that the entire office knew everything and watched the show without anyone ever thinking to warn me. It's probably a good, not a good idea to get into a relationship with your boss. Uh, that usually uh, doesn't uh, turn out too well. But, you know, you do you, I guess. As soon as I found everything out, I cut things short and left town. And here I am, to start over from scratch on good foundations. But I get the feeling she's going to sleep with another co-worker. 
What a horrible experience. He could have caused Kiki Cakes to give up on love forever. What? No. Don't worry about that, Mom. For sure, the next guy who tries to play me isn't going to get off easy. I'm going to ignore the advice of a 16-year-old. Okay, so she's 16. Why won't Mom let her stay at home? I'm going to assume she hasn't slept with her bosses if she's never had a job before. Um... Uh, don't worry about that, Mom, because I, I don't care. It's whatever is in the past. I wouldn't have done anything like that in real life. That's really stupid. It just turned me off to my ex alone, but I don't count on giving up on love because of him. What? Okay. I'll just be a bit more prudent in the future. In any case, that's not my main preoccupation for the time being. I have to concentrate on my job. You'll see, you're going to be marvelous, my dear. However, now, I don't judge people on what they wear. That's not my style. You are very judgmental, Tasha. Go away, go to dad's house. Get out of here, I don't want to see you anymore. But for your first day at a new job, are you planning on going like that? Of course not, I was planning on changing. Don't worry. Oh my god, Tasha, just go to dad's house. Get out of here. I hurried back to my bedroom. So, I need a suitable outfit for my first day of work. Simple, but with an original touch. You've reached a crucial step in your episode. Choose the right outfit, depending on the crush you want to attract. It's an essential requirement to win your episode illustration. The outfits you buy when you play an episode for the first time are always purchased with AP and at a reduced cost just for you, so enjoy. You'll be able to find all color variations of the chosen outfit of Villa Virgin. Okay. If you want to obtain that lens, other you have to replay the episode or like them. Okay, okay, okay. Wait. I. That's my only choice? I won't. won't I want different outfits, so I don't really like that one. Where's her glasses? How is she going to be able to see? I love it. This seems like the perfect balance. I just have to go catch my bus if I don't want to be late. Uh, you're gorgeous. All right, go. You're going to be late. Another friendly face showed up. The dad. What the fuck? Taki came in. The her hair was at the top of her legs. <laughs> she has a pet goose. Oh my god. She came to wish you good luck. That's so weird. Kiki Cakes doesn't need luck. She has all the talent she needs. But that's still nice. Thanks, Taki. I'll tell you everything when I get home tonight. Mom took me in her arms and hugged me tight. Have fun in London! I waved goodbye to them all before leaving to conquer my new life. Well, what's this? Bedroom, backyard, residential area. Let's go to the backyard. Yep, that's a backyard. Damn, it's a nice house. Jesus. Uh, uh, okay, I guess we'll go here. The bus stop is here. I have to take line 57. You're telling me mom owns a house like that and she doesn't have a car I can use? It goes downtown if I'm not mistaken. I haven't taken the time to visit a Morris yet with unpacking my boxes and the pool. She loves that pool. Who the hell is this? Well, how about that? Is that my favorite goddaughter? Uncle Archibald, I was expecting to see you here. What are you doing in this neighborhood? The hell? Who is this guy? Have I ever mentioned the name of a distant relative of mine? Agatha? Uh, I don't remember. Oh, wait, yeah, I see. She's the one who's rather eccentric. You're telling me this guy isn't? Yes, that's her. She's a true fairy. I don't know if she's a real fairy, but she decidedly has the attire and the charm. Still, she has often invited me to visit Amoris, which she finds charming. When I learned that your mother set up camp here as well, I took it as a sign. And here I am, happily exploring the boulevards and suburbs of this pleasant township. 
I didn't know, however, that you've taken up residence here as well. I love Uncle Archibald. He always has a gift for me. Is it Brad? If you meet Uncle Archie during an episode and you make the right dialogue choices, you'll obtain a new costume for me. You'll find it automatically in my closet. Wait, a costume for Taki or for me? Because I don't really care about the goose having a costume. Okay. If you don't obtain my costume this time, you can always try again by replaying the episodes later, but I trust you'll make the right choices. Oh, God. Um, It's very recent. I just got here. Well, for now, I'm living with Mom. Um, I'll say I just got here. Very good. I sincerely hope that we will have the opportunity to see each other again. I hope so too, Uncle Archie. Oh, is that your bus? Yes, but how did you know? You're standing by the bus stop. What? Wait! He didn't give me a present! What the hell? What was I supposed to say that I was staying with Mom? What? The time it took me to turn around, he disappeared. Where's my costume? I ran to the stop and I quickly got on the bus. The bus stopped in the center of town. I got off and not my stomach. The next five, oh, whoops. The five minutes I had spent waiting only made me more nervous. I preferred to get off the bus a bit early to walk and breathe a bit. Okay, so where do I have to? Ouch. I almost fell down on the sidewalk when someone ran right at me. How rude. Is it gonna be a guy? Yep, yep. Whoa, sorry, I didn't see you. Oh, must he learn a charming smile? He looks like he just got out of prison. I'm guessing that a lot of girls would be thrilled about bumping into him. He looked at me for an instant. I wonder how I didn't notice you, actually. It's not a big deal. It happens. No problem, it's the same for me when I run. What, running into people? Is that really your best pickup line? Um, I'd probably just feel like it's not a big deal, whatever. Try to look where you're going next time, dumbass. <laughs> I'll do my best. I graced him with a friendly smile. Go back to prison. I have to go. Again, I'm sorry. Yes, go meet with this parole officer. I have to go too. I'm gonna be late for work. Maybe we'll see each other again. I'll try not to run into you. With a wave of his hand, he left to continue his run from the police. Taki. You met your first crush! <laughs> You'll find information about each crush that you meet and your relationships in your library. Let's go see what we can learn about Roy. Oh, how did I learn his name? I never asked him. Okay, uh, interesting, right? Don't hesitate to come back here when you meet new crushes. We're to keep an eye on the evolution of relationships. Wait, wait, I want to look at that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, let's see. Characters. Roy. Okay, so... I see Uncle Archibald is there. How do I know, like, the difference between a crush and... Oh, maybe it's because they're under other? Okay, let's see. Roy. Six foot two, Aquarius. He likes the ocean swimming, eating TV series. What TV series? He doesn't like deceitful people driving or math. Roy Aquino has it all. He's tall, handsome, athletic, and really nice passionate about swimming he thinks lives and breathes underwater oh so he's a merman his only other lasting interest seems to be tv series which tv series just all of like any of them will he watch anything <laughs> and despite his success with women none of them seem to have really caught his attention so far okay uncle archibald it's five foot eleven. He likes his nieces seeing Taki in costumes. Oh, okay, so the costumes are for the goose. He doesn't like cell phones. Archibald Augustine, this fantastic relative, is a sort of deliciously offbeat gentleman who distinguishes himself by his gentlemanly way of speaking and his understated comments. And he always has a gift for Taki on him. 
Here we go, Taki. She's one foot seven inches. She likes carrots, chest scratches, and wearing costumes. She doesn't like turnips or having her feathers pulled. An orphan goose that you took in a rage. She spent her first days in a cardboard box with old clothes. Since then, she has kept the habit of slipping into the clothes that she finds. Okay. Tasha, five foot three. She likes underground music, sneakers, and makeup. <laughs> she's not wearing sneakers, though. She's wearing like combat boots. She doesn't like being told what to do or traveling by plane. Oh, how much you bet she's going to have to go stay with dad, like on a plane. I bet that's how she's going to go there. That's why it says that. Pasha Dolga is a little sister with undisputed charm, sometimes detestable, sometimes adorable. Your relationship promises to make sparks. Sounds kind of like uh, romantic, but whatever. Uh, Zara, five foot nine. She likes tea and coffee, seeing her daughter's flourishing. Oh, so she doesn't, she probably wasn't very happy about me choosing orange juice on. I disappointed her. She doesn't like feeling pushed up against a wall. Is that literally or metaphorically being in traffic jams? Zara Dolga is a strong woman, a distinguished architect, and a devoted mother. Despite her divorce, she was able to find her balance between professional success and dedication to her daughters. Good, good talk. All right, how do I get back to... Wait, wait, uh... How do... Wait, here? Is it here? Yes, okay. Snake room. Is that a, is that a pl like is that like a reptile house? I don't like snakes. I don't know if I want to go in there. I set off again at a quick pace. Hurry and get to work. Okay, I guess I don't work at the snake room. Shopping district. I think it's this way. Am I gonna meet another crush? Yes, Devin Mentiel. It's here. That's the name of the company. Okay, I was just gonna say, what the hell does that mean? Okay. I walked up to push the door open. It didn't budge. I bet you have to pull it. I pressed the doorbell and waited. A minute passed. No answer. I rang again. It's the right day, the right time. I know I'm not wrong there. I waited a bit, then rang the bell a third time just for my conscience's sake. I stood there for a moment, just staring at the door as if something was going to happen. Hey, can I help you? Startled, I jumped and turned around. Geeky cakes, is it? He looked at me, his arms hanging by his sides. No, they're not. He has them kind of crossed. A slightly annoyed look on his face, waiting for me to answer. It's, yes, that's me. I'm supposed to start today. I'm Thomas. I'll be taking care of the administrative details for your position. Make your badge so that you don't, have, so that you don't need to ring the bell. All that. Oh, excuse me for not knowing that. And apparently it can only be done at the crack of dawn. So here I am. He seems annoyed with having to had, with having had to get up so early. Get over it. You get paid for this. You're not a morning person. Me neither. It won't be dawn for much longer. We shouldn't dawdle. And that's why you're late. You know, we're just gonna be nice because I don't feel like pissing anyone off right now. At least more than me, apparently. Oh, he likes the fact that I hate getting up early. I saw the hint of a smile light up his face. Yeah, let's become friends by just shit-talking everything. Don't worry, it shouldn't take long. I've already prepared some things, follow me. Without giving me time to ask him what he meant by that, he opened the door. Follow Thomas in the de 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 Devin Mentiel offices. What if I go back to Main Street? What, what happens? Will he get mad? Oh, nothing happened, okay. Oh, that's disappointing. All right, let's go. Whoa. Whose desk is this? Is that my desk? Look, you got a whale, a bunny, and a cat. I want this desk. What is this place? It's like a video game uh, development building. I discovered the open space as he guided me to the most new neutral desk in the room. This one? My desk is over here. 
No decorations, except a little figurine. Nothing was out of place. You can sit down, it won't take long. He pulled up a chair next to his desk and I sat down. So, what do you do here usually? You mean besides welcoming new recruits? I can't tell if he's joking. Yeah, your job on a daily basis. I'm the IT and EvDev Technologies Manager. I manage the computers and activities related to new technologies, to put it simply. He opened a drawer and pulled out a folder, sighing ostensibly. Um, it's crazy. One might almost believe that you don't like paperwork. I totally agree. Paperwork sucks. I'm sorry you have to do all this for me. Um, I'm gonna say paperwork sucks. Let's get on his good side. It's crazy how much time he's lost on this stuff. I know, you should just hire people without knowing anything about them. We should all have smart cards with our information on them. Hi, huh? he's one of those people. I, I, I kind of agree with that. That'd be pretty useful, you know? Put like a chip in your hand and then they like scan and they have all your information. You could scan your card and bam, everything would be filled in automatically. That might be handy, but a bit creepy. No, we're not saying that. Let's agree with them. He took a pen out of his drawer, giving it a pitiful look. In the meantime, we'll stick to these archaic methods. I don't know what else to say. I don't know what I'd say either. <laughs> I took the pen with a sympathetic smile. Okay, normally I already have almost everything filled in. You just have to check. He handed me the file, which I opened, a little surprised. Oh god, did he stalk me? Oh, the information he filled in was correct. Oh, oh. Can I ask where you got all this information? I like, went on your social media, duh, idiot. You should have it set to private. I don't see how I could stop you. What? Okay. I thought he was gonna say more, but no. Okay. How did you get all this information? Devin gave me your name and I entered it in a search engine. <laughs> Most people don't realize how much information they've made public. I guess I'm one of those people. <laughs> I was right. He took a plastic card out from the drawer and handed it to me. Here, this is your badge to open the building door when the offices are open. I took the badge. It's complete. There's even a picture of me. Uh, a photo that indulgent reviewers might call unflattering. My eyes were almost closed. I wasn't looking at the camera. My mouth was open because I was talking. Did he just take a stealth photo of me? Dude, what's wrong with you? I brought an ID photo like Devin told me to do. You didn't have to. Since all your social network pages are set to public, it was easy to find a picture of you. Why did you choose this one in particular? Yeah, seriously, what? The quality is good and you're facing forward. Fuck off, dude. Well, maybe you could have asked for my opinion before. Okay, but we're gonna redo the badge with the photo I brought. Actually, it's rather funny. I'll get... No, we're gonna redo it with the photo I brought. If we're gonna do this right, we're gonna do it right. Oh, he didn't like that. Thomas raised an eyebrow before letting out a deep sigh. He looks authentically surprised. Frankly, did you think I was just gonna say it? Uh, whoops. Frankly, did you think I was just gonna take it and say thank you? Did you see how I look in that picture? You posted it, so you validate. Fuck off, Thomas. I didn't validate it to be used in a professional context. Yeah, seriously, get out of here. It's absolutely out of the question that I look like that on my professional badge. Yeah, you tell him. I would like for you to remake it, please. Okay, as you'd like, I'll make you a new badge. That's on you. Man, shut up, Thomas. Get out of here. That'll teach me to try and save time. Shut up. 
I find myself doing- oh my god. I find myself doing twice as much adult work as boss. Shut up! I shrugged. I don't even know what to say to him. I know, I- Shut up, quit bitching. Actually, I don't understand what you like about this picture. Can we just move on, bro? You really don't see? It's a photo of you. You're recognizable and you're beautiful. No? Really? You think so? Are you trying to sweeten the pill of flattery? In this case, not really, no. Yeah, no. Nope. But thanks, I guess. Thomas shrugged his shoulders again. I'm having a hard time figuring him out. It's an observation. You have symmetrical features. Your eyes are rather large and your teeth are well like, Oh my god, this guy's so creepy. I don't like him. These are parameters generally associated with beauty. If that was a compliment, it would definitely be the least touching of any I've heard in my life. Yeah, it's just, you're weird. But I don't even think that's the case. Well, give me the photo you want then. I handed it to him. He took a picture of it with his phone and typed on his keyboard. The card printer behind him started up. He got up, took the card, and put it through the laminator. There you go. Is that okay with you? It's perfect. You see, it wasn't that complicated. And it was even rather fast. Corners of his lips moved briefly with a nervous twitch. Do you have a large personal fortune, or do you come from a wealthy family? Why are you asking me that? I paused. So, we've changed the subject. I have no personal fortune. What makes you say that? The way you talk, the way you move. Couldn't they have had someone else come meet me for my first day at work? Like, if I met this guy in real life, I'd be like, you know what, I'm sorry, I don't think this is gonna work out. I'll see you later. Or not. The pictures I've seen of you, of course. You've been to different countries in the last few years. You studied at a private school. And above all, your mother's name. She's an architect whose popularity has exploded in recent years, apparently. This guy's so creepy. She is now in high demand, and being an architect is among the highest paid professions, so... Altogether, it's a pretty logical deduction. I frowned. He's unsettling. Yeah, that's one way to put it. Yes, my mother is an architect and is quite well known in the industry. I'd like you to keep your comments to yourself. It's my mother who's rich, not me. We're gonna tell him to keep his comments to himself. I don't like him. He's so creepy. What do you mean? Would you rather I hadn't told you? No, I was thinking more of the others. Your... our colleagues. I really don't want to be the rich girl of the company. Oh, don't worry about that. We already have one. Really? Amanda, you'll see when you meet her. She doesn't really keep it a secret. In any case, I was pointing it out to you in passing, but everyone here already knows. Is it because you told them, Thomas? Is that why? Have you been blabbering? And no one cares, rich or poor, as long as you work well. Devin's not really one to judge people on those sorts of parameters. Out of curiosity, what parameters does he judge them on? I would say he's rather instinctive. What the hell does that mean? As long as it works for him, he has no real reason to change his method. Thomas looked at his watch, then at his computer screen. Okay, so the others should be arriving soon. He looked at me over his screen and hesitated for a moment. Unless, did you need something else? I thought you'd give me a little tour. Oh no, no, I don't want a tour from this guy, no. Figure it out for yourself. I don't want to. No, I want him to go away. I don't like him. He squinted. I heard him sigh again. Do you look so mad? Critical choices are the last type of choice. You can recognize them thanks to the little red icon. Critical choices are the most important. Generally, they have a very strong impact on your affinities with the different characters, greatly influence the path of your story, and can even unlock gifts or illustrations. And there's good news, the majority of critical choices are associated to a personality. The more a choice is closer to your personality, the less it will cost an AP. Continue your story, blah blah, okay. Um... 
Never mind. Can I take a little tour by myself to get situated? I was hoping you'd introduce me to everyone. Maybe you could show me right now. We're doing it by ourselves. We're doing nope. Whoa. We're doing it by ourselves. He gave a small smile of relief. Of course, to make yourself at home. You have your badge now. I thanked him with a nod. Wait, instead, I'll buy you a welcome coffee if you want. I don't like coffee. Oh, I'd like that. No, ask him for an orange juice. <laughs> I didn't really want to wander around the office alone. Yes, I did. That's why I said I wanted to look around by myself. Come on, the coffee machine is that way, but we'll stop by the break area first. No, I want him to leave me alone. <laughs> he got up from his desk, a shadow of a smile still floating on his lips. I got up to follow him. No, uh, meeting room, Devin's office, break area, shopping district, okay, uh, break area. The hell kind of break area is this? Oh, this place is cool! Yeah, most people say that. But I'll show you something else that's really cool. It's in the cafeteria. So why did we come to the break area then? He didn't get me coffee. I followed Thomas again to the next area. What would you like? Let me see what there is. Nothing, I'm good, thanks. What would you like? I don't give a shit what he wants. We're gonna say what we want. Don't expect anything exotic or innovative. No, I know. It's to see what tempts me. Are we talking about the coffee machine? Took a quick look at what the machine had to offer. Oh, okay. A hot cocoa if it's good. A tomato soup? It sounds comforting. A coffee would be great. Who goes to a coffee machine and is like, you know what? I really want something. Let me get a tomato soup. What the f- Let's get a hot cocoa because I don't like coffee. It is. Good choice. You can't really go wrong by choosing chocolate. Thomas nodded as he pulled his phone out of his pocket. Oh, is he gonna pay with tap? Watch, he's gonna pay with tap, and she's gonna be like, Oh my god, how did you do that? And he's gonna be like, Oh, you haven't heard of tapping with your phone? He tapped it a few times, and the machine started working. He gave me a proud look as he grabbed the cup and handed it to me. Here you are, a delicious and free hot cocoa. Thank you so much! I reached my hand out to take it. Oh god, he's gonna grab my hand. When I took the cup, my fingers landed against his. Is he blushing? Why? Why'd she grab it like that? Like... Who, well, okay. Congratulations! You've obtained your first illustration! All your unlocked illustrations are visible at any time in your library. In the future... Oh, if in the future you miss an illustration, don't worry, a message will tell you which requirements you didn't meet. That way you can do better when you replay the episode. Or you can unlock da 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 Why did she grab it like that, though? Like, it would have been very, very easy to not have that happen. Also, is she wearing that outfit? I don't think she was actually wearing- Oh, she was. Oh, I just didn't realize that there were ugly stripes on them. His eyes met mine before immediately looking away. This is a special scene. I'm so excited for you. Special scenes are often associated to illustrations. They are scenes with more romance and more details than the basic scenario. You can unlock them by using your gems. Oh, you're unlocked and you replay it for you. I don't. I don't really want to, but I kind of want to just to like have it, you know? Like just to have it unlocked, but I'm like. I don't like him though. I guess I, I don't like him. He froze for a moment, staring at the floor. 
Then he looked back into the cup, which we were both still holding. He blushed ever so slightly, then furrowed his brow. I'll admit that it makes him look rather cute. The little wrinkle in the middle of his forehead that becomes visible. <laughs> he doesn't look upset, more like he's thinking. He looked at our hands. His eyes moved quickly from right to left. I don't want to make him uncomfortable by looking at him. But I have to admit that the occasion lends itself well for doing just that. I hadn't really noticed before. But he's rather handsome. Are you only saying that because he's blushing? His red curls that fall in front of his face. And his eyes that are somewhere between an intense blue and turquoise. Oh my gosh, she needs to calm down. What am I thinking? I can't care to work. Certainly not something else. Yeah, didn't you learn from your last job? I'll have to get a hold of myself and definitely not let my mind wander to thoughts like that. I don't want to make the same mistakes. Yeah, you really don't. The two of us were silent and hadn't moved for at least five seconds. The situation is going to become awkward any time now. I cleared my throat to get his attention. Uh, is everything okay, Thomas? He looked into my eyes again. His eyes are so blue. They look more green than blue, but whatever. You have blue eyes? I really have to stop that. Everything is fine. He let go of the cup, clearing his throat to regain composure. It's nothing. It's just, I didn't expect there to be contact. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean. It's okay. I smiled at Thomas, who smiled back at me. Thank you. So, you have an app that controls the coffee machine? I developed it so I wouldn't have to pay for drinks. Oh. Okay. The app tricks the machine into thinking I've paid and it serves me what I ask for. That's clever, and no one has a problem with that? No, actually, after I developed the app, Devin explained to me that everything was already free. Oh, okay. There's the thing where you put the change, but it's a remnant structure. I never thought of trying to order without paying. In the end, I put quite a bit of small change in there. I'll have to try and download a lock picking training course. <laughs> what? Unless you know something about that, well, my Jill Valentine. I can't say that I do, no. Otherwise, you can always break the door. I mean, if no one cares. If that's not the most elegant solution, and it bothered me to damage it. Oh, I forgot to show you your desk. Come on. Without waiting for me to reply, he left towards the open space. I followed him, curious to see my desk. Here it is, just across from mine. Oh god, I have to sit near him. You can leave your things here and take your little tour. Oh, Amanda's already here. I told you about her. Thomas pointed to a young blonde woman sitting at a desk. Is Amanda a crut? Like, will, will Amanda be a romance option? I usually prefer the girls in these games to the guys, because you got fucking weirdos like this guy. You can introduce yourself if you want. With a polite smile, he sat down at his desk, concentrating on his screen. I walked over to Amanda with measured steps. Oh. She looks... Uh... She, she kind of looks uh, a little bit too old for me. Seeing me, she stood up and held out her hand, smiling politely. You must be the new girl. I'm Amanda de la Vienne. Yes, I'm Kiki Cake. Shall we hug? What? I take it you must be the old girl. I'm Kiki Cakes. <laughs> I shook her hand, smiling. We're, we're not going to ask for a hug because that's weird. And we're not going to tell her she's old. We're going to just shake her hand. Delighted! You're right, I'm the new girl, Kiki Cakes. I'm in charge of accounting and anything having to do with management globally speaking. 
I also take care of events for clients that concern art or luxury. Great! I know a bit about that. Maybe we can work together. Amanda looked me up and down, then down and up. Yeah, maybe I could train you. Oh, okay. In reality, anyway, the boss will decide that. Is someone talking about me? Hey, Amanda! I immediately froze. The jogger! Wow, what a... What an outfit for a boss. He leaned over to give Amanda a hug. I was talking about Devin, as you can imagine. This is Kiki Cakes. Donica... D Danica... Donica... Donica's replacement. He turned to me, recognized me, and smiled at me. Well now, talk about a coincidence. Did you see? I didn't run into you this time. Thank you, that's very kind of you. Okay, I'm gonna check this real quick and see where Amanda... Where does Amanda pop up at? Okay, so... Ah, she is a romance option. She looks old as shit, though. Five foot eight. Dancing, collecting rabbits, her comfort. She doesn't like soda and plant situations, stock market. Amanda de la Vienne is rich, rather energetic, and has a strong personality. She loves nothing more than to brilliant lead her projects at Devon Mentral. If you know how to get past the sometimes unpleasant first impression, you can discover a sensitive and endearing young woman who is still sometimes searching for herself. She, uh, you know what? I'm not. I'm not gonna. Is she the only female option? <sighs> Wait, who's that? Who's that? Is that another girl? Fuck off, I see Thomas. Okay. Hopefully I get more options than them, because so but not very interesting in anyone. I'm Roy. If Devin is the captain, I'm his first mate. It's not official. He's part of the team just like everyone else. Not exactly like everyone else, no. Anyway. I wonder if Amanda would look less old if she had different clothes on, because the clothes she has on now kind of make her look like an old lady. So, it's cool that Devin found a replacement for Donica. Hopefully you won't throw us the same low blow as she did. Apparently the low blow in question must have been a very low blow. He looks really angry. I wanna watch, I bet she slept with the boss or something, but yeah, this girl, oh man, she slept with our boss. Can you believe that? And I'm like, oh yeah, oh my god, I can't imagine someone do that. I hope so too. What kind of low blow are we talking about? Roy clenched his jaw. He left us overnight to go work for Gold Dreams, our competitor. Oh, that's even worse than sleeping with your boss. In my opinion, it was a mistake, but she didn't consult me. You know what? Let's not talk about it anymore. Damn, they really take this seriously, don't they? Yeah, plus, we are supposed to work a bit. In any case, it was a pleasure to meet you, Kiki Cakes. He nodded, thoughtful. I don't know if you've already seen Devin. No, not yet. Should I go see him? Yeah, you can go introduce yourself. He'll appreciate that. Okay, I'll do that. Thanks. Oh, please tell me the boss isn't one of the romance options. Please tell me he's like some old dude. He left to go sit at his desk, a worried wrinkle still on his forehead. I'm gonna go too. If you have any questions... I'm sure everyone here will be thrilled to help you. Don't hesitate to ask. Oh, okay. Turned around and quickly walked away. Okay, so I guess I just have to... Oh! Roy waved at me from his desk. I walked over to him, curious. Does he want to tell me more about that whole gold dream story? Why would he want to tell you about that? I'm sorry, with all that, I completely forgot to... Devin asked me to see what kind of desk chair you'd like. I glanced at my desk. Indeed, there wasn't a chair. Oh my god, is this like an important choice I have to make? Do I have to get one somewhere? Please tell me this isn't some sort of initiation ritual where I'm gonna have to wander around for a thousand years. What are you talking about, you psycho? 
what? No, not at all. That's not really our type of initiation. So the idea is that for the first few days, we'll lend you a desk chair so that you can sit down. But that's only while waiting for your personalized chair to be delivered. We all have our own. We all think it's nicer that way. Indeed, Roy had a sort of dolphin chair that didn't go unnoticed, but the others? Yeah, they all do have, uh... Yeah. I looked around the open space, all the chairs were different. That's interesting. I hadn't really noticed before. Come see, you'll be able to choose the one you want. I walked around his desk to see his screen. I like that this is one of the choices I have to make. Here, generally we go on this site. It's a friend of ours who created it, so he handles all our furniture needs. And we handle all his event needs. It's a nice exchange of services. Look, you can choose something from their catalog. There's something for every style. Let me choose already. Oh my god. I'd even recommend their site for your home furnishing needs, actually. He moved over so I could take a look. Hmm, I like this one. What? I don't get to choose? Are you serious? What? Oh, that, that one's not bad either in a different style. Oh, I think I found the one I want. I want to choose it. I know I was making fun of it, but I want to choose it. Oh, okay. The little round chair is pretty, don't you think? It's cute and it looks comfortable. Look, a real desk chair. Mobile, good back support, discreet. What do you think about this one in the shape of a dinosaur? Isn't it too cute? I don't like dinosaurs, though. They're scary. Uh, I guess I'll go with the round one. Totally, it's really pretty. I like it a lot. Plus, Amanda will like it. You can be desk chair sisters. Oh, no. I hadn't noticed, but it's almost the same as her chair. Oh, no, she's gonna be mad. Don't worry. I'm sure she won't take it the wrong way. Are you sure about that? I don't know. Actually, I wouldn't be surprised the opposite. She's gonna be like, oh my god, we're chair sisters now. I heard her say that imitation was the most sincere form of fat form of flattery. That wasn't necessarily the goal. I know, don't worry. It would be really nice to see two beautiful matching chairs in the open space. Okay, the order's confirmed. You'll have it in a few days. I can't wait. Thanks a lot, Roy. Yeah, look at that. Look at that chair. No problem. All right, I'm gonna get back to work. See you later. I walked away from Roy's desk, leaving him to his activities. Okay, I should go see Devin like Roy advised me to do. All right, uh, Devin's office. The door to Devin's office was open. Uh oh. Yeah, he, uh, he is very eccentric, and... Oh no, he is a romance choice! Oh, come on! Oh no! She's gonna make the same mistakes as she did before! Oh my god. He saw me as soon as I was outside and motioned for me to come in. Come in. Is everything okay? I hope you guys like the same voice I'm using for all the guy characters. He stood up to shake my hand. I guess you must be Kiki Cakes. Delighted. I shook his hand, smiling. He's very different from what I imagined when I heard him on the phone. He seems much open, much more open, much warmer. The same. Roy told me to come and introduce myself. Ah, uh -huh, you met Roy? Have you seen the others, too? Yes, I've seen Thomas, who welcomed me, and Amanda. Perfect. If it's okay with you, I'd in uh, I'll introduce you more formally during the 10 o'clock meeting. For now, what do you think about your new co-workers? I didn't know what to say. I was a little intimidated by Devin. Everyone's been really nice to me, in any case. That's not exactly the truth, but... He gave me a big, reassuring smile. Some of them have their own special personality. But I think that's a good thing. It enriches the company to have such diverse profiles. You'll see. You'll find your footing quickly. 
Just then the phone rang. Devin answered it. The expression on his face changed instantly. His open and warm expression suddenly became stern and focused. This is Devin. Hmm. 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 No. Hmm. No, listen to me. That's not what we said. That's not my problem. We signed a contract. He motioned for me to come back later. But the polite smile, I left his office. I was a little taken aback by that first exchange with Devin. He went from super cool to pretty scary in a second. Okay, I still have a little time to kill before the meeting. Uh, walk around until it's time for the meeting. Uh, meeting room. Devin, break area, shopping district. Can I go out to the shopping district? I'm just like leaving the office. I, I'm gonna go over to the snake room. What is the snake room? I don't even know. Um, I guess let's go to the break area. I entered the break area. I haven't done anything, but let's take a break. Oh, hey, new people. Two women were already there, busy talking. They both turned towards me when I walked in. Hey, you must be Kiki Cakes. I'm Melinda. Shall we hug? <laughs> what is with these people hugging? Without leaving me the time to answer, she wrapped her arm around me for a hug. Melinda, take it easy. You're going to scare her. Plus, for all you know, she's just here to deliver a package. Yeah, I totally look like I'm a male person. No, no, I am Kiki Cakes, your new colleague. It's nice to meet you then. I'm Brune. Did you find your desk? Is everything okay? Do you want anything? A coffee? A donut? I want a donut. For us, for us to ask you another 300 questions? It'd be ideal if you could write them all down. That way I can answer them at my own pace. That only makes three questions for now. I think I can handle that. Everything's fine, thanks, and I did find my desk. I guess I'll tell him to write them down, because that's something I would say. Great idea. Alenda, you can send her an email later. Okay, let's go check the library and see if there are romance options. What? They're not romance options. Why? I like her. Five foot eight. She likes piercings and gothic decor. She doesn't like cheese and shoes with no heels. <laughs> Bruce Nunez speaks bluntly as an unshakable confidence. Between Frank's sympathy and formidable spiciness, she leaves no one indifferent. Elinda, five foot five. She likes anything cute and colorful. She doesn't like tofu or negative people. Elinda Ueno is the queen of positive attitude, always ready to see the bright side of things. Whatever you do, she will know how to motivate you. How come they aren't romance options? I don't. Eh, whatever. I'm sorry, I know it can seem a bit intrusive. I'm so happy to meet a new co-worker. She does look happy, ecstatic even. Yeah, I like these two better than the other people. That's nice of you, really. I hope we'll get along. And Linda gets along great with everyone, so things should be good in that department. As for me, there shouldn't be any problems either, frankly. What about if I sleep with the boss? When you get to know her, she's adorable. Great idea, let's get to know one another. Where are you from? Professionally speaking, not where were you born. I was at EPMC until fairly recently. Really? Wow, but that's, well, a huge company. <laughs> <laughs> what pushed you to want to change? Well, let me tell you, Alinda. Maybe the fact that it's so big. We don't always hear good things about companies like that. I think we're much better off here in the end. The company in itself was okay, but the people that worked there. I think so too. The mood was there was really horrible. Let's say that it was a learning experience, but I want to move on to something else. We want to move on. To, we're not gonna. We're not gonna talk about that. 
I understand. I like to change too from time to time. You're trying not to tell us that you're going to be Devin Mential. No, not necessarily changing jobs, but changing anything. Decorations, hobbies, guys. You're telling me she likes guys with all those rainbows on her? Okay. But don't worry, there's no chance of me leaving this place. You'll see, it's super cool here. Yeah, you should feel at home soon. Plus, it was about time for Devin to replace Donica. Oh, that's me. See you at 10 o'clock. She answered her phone as she left the break area. I have to go too. I have a few emails to send before the meeting. No problem, see you there. She left towards her desk while she blew me a kiss. Okay, I have a good 10 minutes before I have to go to the meeting room. I could try to talk a bit with someone I've already met. Uh, go see the person of your choice. How do I choose that? What? How do I choose who to talk to, though? Cafeteria? It doesn't look like there's anyone in the cafeteria. I was about to turn back when Roy popped out from behind a table. I don't necessarily want to talk to him, but whatever. Why is he shirtless? What? What are you doing, dude? I jumped, letting out a little cry of surprise. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you arrive. He's shirtless in the middle of the cafeteria. I had to make a conscious effort not to stare at his chest. Everyone here knows that I do this before work. I didn't think I'd surprise you. What the f- Okay. I didn't think it was possible to be so muscular in real life. And now, I don't know where to look. What about at his face? Look him in the eyes. It's perfectly natural. No, it's weird. Look somewhere else. No, not there. There, in his eyes. Oh, well. Everyone here knows you do what exactly? Sorry, this is too weird. I'm gonna go before I can no longer look away from those abs. No, we're not gonna, that's weird. Uh, I guess we'll ask him what he's doing. To start the day off right, I do a hundred push-ups. Do you need to be shirtless for that? Two sets of 50, I don't want to wear myself out either. And two sets, lightweight. Oh yeah, of course, after a run, a hundred push-ups, it's the bare minimum. Okay, I didn't mean to bother you, I'll leave you alone. Um... I don't know. My motto is a healthy mind in a healthy body. No sane person does two workout sessions before work. Well, he's not really sane, is he? Hmm, then let's say that my motto is a healthy body. I like it, it's concise, easy to remember. All jokes aside, I may be pushing the concept a bit far. But with sports, the more you do, the more you need to do. And since I've done a lot since I was little, I understand. You're stuck now, actually. That's it. But luckily, I love it. Swimming, especially. But since Devin doesn't want to replace the cafeteria with swimming pool, I do push-ups. No choice. I laughed. He's nice. Uh, have the right outfit. Oh, illustration missed. Oh. Uh. No, we're not. We're not gonna waste our things on that. That's too much. Oh, it's time. We have to go to the meeting room. Maybe you should get dressed before he laughed while getting dressed. All right, let's go. It's time to go listen to the big boss. I don't. I didn't choose to talk to him, though. How did I, like, mm, whatever. It's time for the meeting. Amanda's already here. She looked up at me when I sat down. Roy came in just after me and sat down to my right. Brune and Linda came in after. What about Thomas? Where's Thomas? Linda sat down next to Amanda. Brune sat next to Roy. Finally, Thomas and Devin joined us. Thomas sat down while Devin remained standing. Everyone looked at him as he looked at everyone who was present. He took the time to smile warmly at everyone before speaking. I wanted to take a moment of your time to officially welcome Kiki Cakes. 
I'm sure you'll give her the welcome she deserves. He stopped to look at Thomas for an instant, who smiled at him innocently. I know that these past weeks have been as hard for you as they have been for me. Donica's sudden departure upset the way we work. But I'm sure that with Kiki Cake's arrival, better days lay ahead of us here at Devon Menchel. Please accept Kiki Cakes as she is and for who she is. Oh god, does he know about my past? She's not Donica's replacement, but a new member of our team. This time he looked at Roy. Who discreetly nodded. I'm counting on you all to help her find her place among us. He glanced at Amanda. Who remains stone-faced. I'm convinced that we're going to do big things together. Today is the first day of Devin Menchel's renewal. He paused ceremoniously, a slight smile on his face. I think this is the perfect moment for a round of uh, for a round of applause. Elinda, of course, started applauding, and the others followed suit. I don't hear the applause. Their smiles are contagious. I wasn't expecting such a warm welcome. Devin's confidence is contagious as well. Even I feel like everything is going to be okay. This first contact has been very different from what I experienced at EPMC, and that's putting it lightly. Yeah, it's gonna be different till she sleeps with Devin. Everyone here seems more free, more honest, more silly. And the least I can say is that I think I like that. I feel like besides working well, I may also have fun. Finish the episode. Okay, sorry, no need to yell at me. Is it over already? Time flies when I'm with you. You weren't even with me. You'll find a little recap at the end of each episode. It will allow you to quickly review some very important information. On the left, you can see the evolution of your affinity with each crush, as well as the illustrations and unlock special scenes. Everything that concerns your character is on the right. This view allows you to follow the evolution of your personality to see the outfits you obtained and those that can be unlocked parts, but also to see if you obtained my outfit from Uncle Archie. I did not. Don't hesitate to replay the episodes to unlock all their content. I have one last thing to tell you. If you're up to date in your episodes and only while waiting for the release of the next episode, you'll be able to exchange a few private messages with the crushes via your messages. So to continue your adventure and continue with the next episode or replay this one, just click here. See you soon, Kiki Cakes. Good talk. I didn't get her outfit. Okay, so Amanda likes me a little bit. He doesn't like me. He doesn't like me. He likes me. Okay. That's funny. All right. So I finished creating my avatar. She looks more like me. There were some things that I wanted to put on her, but I'd have to buy like the DLC packs or whatever for that. And I was just like, I'm good right now. So yeah, this is my character. She looks more like me. Um, that was episode one. I will be doing episode two again. Let me know how you like the video whatever you think. Thank you for watching.